Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are live in Studio B, and this is a unique scenario for us here in the latter part of this specific show. We have four guests on the show at one time. Let's go, baby. I'm not sure we've ever had four guests over here in the Cougar Council Room, right? Not, not <laughs> with this, the speed of these ladies. This, this is go. new, but to their credit, they have been so awesome and coming off just a remarkable performance in Boston. We, we need to have all four. So from left to right, we have Jenna Hutchins, Lexi Halliday, Lowry, Aubrey Frentway, and Riley Chamberlain with us. Great to have you with us. So, Thanks. Riley, Thanks. first time for you in here. Yeah. Good to have you. Okay, we're going to put the pressure on you, Riley. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. How would you sum up the emotions of what you just pulled off in Boston? Oh, man, just grateful that all the hard work is finally paying off. It has been paying off, but just to um, run my best time ever, get on the top 10 board again, have such a great experience with all my teammates. Like, we pulled off some pretty great performances all together, so. It was awesome. Number two mile in BYU history, number two in the Big 12, number four in the NCAA. Um, did you run the race you were hoping to run? The race is there more in the tank for the future or was that like <laughs> the best you can do it and you got to match it now I mean obviously you want to believe you can always be better so I'm always hoping for better but as far as the race went it went about as good as it could have <laughs> that's awesome what's that feeling like when you cross the finish line and I'm sure Diljeet was going crazy as flow track put out yeah um I think just joy excitement um turning around to see my teammate coming in. She ran super well, just, yeah, happiness. <laughs> awesome. All right, Jenna, we'll move over here to the left. Uh, in the 5K, number three all-time at BYU, number one in the Big 12, number five in the NCAA. What did it mean to you to come across first of your teammates? Is there, are there any bragging rights in the, in, involved there? No, not really. Actually, um, we were really proud to be able to come in together just because during this path cross country season, we've all been training together, working hard together, but we've never been able to come across the line like one, two, three like that. That's wild. So it was a really special moment for all of us. I feel like we all played our part in the race to um, allow that to happen. And so we were we were just super excited to accomplish that together. And it's seven tenths of a second. The three of you come in? <laughs> yeah, So, so you're kind of looking over like, did I get first? Did she get second? What, what was that like? I had no idea where anyone was at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I had... Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had kind of, I had taken the lead at one point and I was, I knew we were trying to put down fast times. The goal ultimately was for all of us to get NCAA qualifying times or yeah. just to run, run fast. And so... Yeah, I, I didn't know where my teammates were, in, but crossing the line and seeing us all come in, boom, 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 That's it was incredible. astounding. I, yeah, it was, it's, it was sur very surreal. So when did you realize, Aubrey, that that had actually happened? <laughs> and, and you're in being embraced by Diljeet Taylor, just this <laughs> incredible imagery. And all like, three so. of you were top five in BYU history. Like, that's uh, the it's, run. It's wild. So what, when did it all set in, like, wow, we just did that? Um, I think, it, honestly, like, right after when coach kind of pulled us aside and was like well she's like you've wanted this moment for a while and you finally got it i was like oh my gosh yeah like we because sometimes like your brain gets all foggy like like she was saying you kind of just start trying to get to the finish line and i when she pulled us aside and told us that i was like yeah like we've been working for this and it's something that we had talked about like oh how cool would that be if we could come in together you know and cross country and then it just the cards didn't line up it was all like we were kind of everywhere and so yeah it was really cool to to see that happen and that was that in that moment we kind of took a picture after we're like yeah. and coach just said like you're gonna remember this moment and yeah so jenna and lexi are laughing at some pictures <laughs> that are on the screen <laughs> what, what, what are you what are you what, laughing what are you at amused by? what happened Can i you just saw me in the background <laughs> gasping for air <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's some really funny race photos that we get oh, just yeah. like on the down stop or just in like such a funny moment. Uh, so it's just funny to laugh at. Face of joy, right? I have right? not seen yeah. that photo. He's, he's so feeling so much happiness. First time. Yeah, that was a surprise. Okay, <laughs> let's, go, let's go back. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, uh, Riley, Riley's just normal. keeping it calm. Riley like, no big deal. That's it. Thanks, guys. Just, everything's good. Yeah. It's what? all good. Okay, this, you look good there. there. You know, just normal intake of breath. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay. <laughs> you gotta take that one down. That's great. Can we show it what? No, no, no we don't. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is it about that track, Riley, that everyone talks about? Oh, it's the fastest track at, at BU, right, in Boston? Um, there's a lot of science kind of behind it, but it's 
we describe it as bouncy, like just yeah, the wood huh. it's made out of, the surface, just, and then obviously there's a placebo. Once everybody starts running fast times, you start to believe there's something about the track. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> but apparently there wasn't a ton of oxygen. Uh, right? Yeah. Is that, is that what happened? <laughs> I mean, 15 minutes into a race, you start to go a little lactic. Yeah. For, for sure. We don't know what that's like. Oh Let's be honest. Goodness. You guys tell us. All right, the quartet of awesome here with BYU Women's Track and Field, the distance runners. Uh, you've done so much incredible stuff already. The, the marks, I mean, the honors, they're, they're already all there. So um, I just want each of you to answer shortly. What's, what is next for you in terms of individual goals? We'll start with you, Jenna. Like, what's, what's next on your list of individual goals? Yeah, well, I think for me last year, I didn't qualify for the NCAA Indoor Championship. So I'm really happy to, I'm pretty sure that time will make it in. So I'm really excited to go there. And um, I think from here on, I just want to, keep becoming the best version of myself, keep working hard, um, and just do my best that I can there, continue to try to PR in some other events this year, and just have fun with it, enjoy time with my teammates, and be the best that I can be. Alexi, where do you stand in that conversation? Yeah, kind of the same boat. Um, I did the 3K last year mostly, so this is my first time really like focusing on the 5K, so I guess I just really want to see, I don't know, how much more we can continue to improve in that event, mm -hmm. and to, our times should make it into NCAs, so just to, get to that line knowing that we had given everything in training in life just you know to get to the line ready to go and to see what we can do all right Aubrey what's the next individual goal for you um, yeah, I feel I bad even asking this question because no. like, you've already done so much like what are you gonna no. do next I think it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse to be like I feel like all of us can attest to it. we feel like we've never made it you know like you feel like you do something great and you're like, oh, but what if? You know, like all of us were mm -hmm. like, oh, but what if we could have just gone in the 20s? Or like, what if, you know? And so I feel like for me, it's just like, the goal is just to have no regrets, just leave everything out there so that I can finish my eligibility and be like, you know what, I did everything that I could and there's always somewhere else that I'm gonna wanna go. There's always another time. There's always another place that I want. But um, yeah, just having no regrets and knowing that I gave everything on, on that day. All right, and our miler specialist. <laughs> you ran 4:30. Like, is is the goal 4:29? The, yes. <laughs> what's, sure. what's the record of BYU? Uh, 4:29.76. Okay, yes. so you're right there. Yeah. Wow. So you're just a half second off. Yeah. Mm. A half second <laughs> from being the record holder of BYU. Yeah. It's pretty crazy, especially knowing like Whitney Orton, national champion, holds it. I'm like, to be that close to her is just amazing. But. Um, for next goals, I know we're all running the 3K next week, so mm -hmm. I think just trying to pull each other along to some really fast times in that and just keep having faith and in, enjoying the ride. And there are professionals uh, there, right? So Anna Camp Bennett, I think, won, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Courtney Wayman was there. What's it like to see some of the alums at the same race? Yeah, it's incredible. I feel like we all look up to them and just um, it's incredible the things that they've done for the program and just like the place that they've allowed us to be so we're really grateful for them we love seeing them succeed and Anna Camp paced our race so we were very grateful for her she was right on and um, she did everything she could to go as long as possible so um, we just we love having them there and enjoy following their journeys too and all for the brand right even when they move on it's like do you feel like that camaraderie like is is there um, a game plan of sorts with them, even though they're not technically running at BYU? How does that work? Oh, for sure. I mean, like even at the meet, we had planned for Anna to come back and pace us. And even like in workouts, they'll do workouts with us. And I know like me and OBS, we, uh, we ran for, at least I ran for two years with them while they had eligibility and OBS for more. And so there is that camaraderie, like they are, they're our teammates in a sense, like they're our friends. And so, I mean, lining up in a race like that where Anna was pacing, we all knew that she would give everything within her power to take us as far as she could. Wow. And she for sure did. <laughs> she, she was needing oxygen as well. Nice. But she, she took us very far. And nice. yeah, no, that camaraderie, that camaraderie even allowed us to stay on her for longer, knowing that like if Anna's doing it, like I, I can stay with her to pull everyone along. But. So is that 3K going to be at the Husky Classic in Seattle? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you expecting, Aubrey, of that to uh, the next step? <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, whew, hard question. I, yeah, just kind of want to have fun again with my teammates and just leave everything out there and see what I can do because I don't get to race a 3K. I don't get to race a 3K quite as often, mm -hmm. so it'll be fun to race it. Is there, like, BYU swag as distance runners? Like, nationally, people know you? Like, yeah, we're Brigham. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we're more famous for Coach Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> she is pretty fantastic. She's the best. She's got a yeah. Nike deal of her own. Yeah. <laughs> pretty big deal. Yeah. yeah, for sure. For sure. I, well, uh, no, yeah. I was just saying, I think it's also cool because we just, there's always a lot of women that we have like representing BYU while we're there. And so I think we're known as also like one of the biggest teams and we mm. have so much depth because we have um, obviously so many talented people in different events. So it's really fun to show up with a big crew. That's <laughs> awesome. And way to rep the uh, beat digger today. That's what this logo is called. Great. Yes. yes. Not it's, surprising that you're all fashionable, as is Coach Taylor, right? Fantastic. <laughs> Looking good. Okay. Welcome, uh, as always, to Studio B. Great to have you with us here. First and, time uh, arriving. Nice yes. job. Thank let's, you. Let's, uh, let's give you some BYU. When you break the mile record, we'll bring you back. Yes. So. Let's give you some karma to break yep. that mile record. Okay. Yep. Take it. When it happens, we're going to claim that yep. it was our. We did it. Okay. Yeah, all right. It's all, it's all about coming on the show. <laughs> good luck in Seattle next week. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you to all of these fantastic women for being here with us on BYU Sports Nation.